Evening guys, it's fantastic back again and it's Saturday night and we're back for another Saturday night special. And tonight we're looking at Freedom Fighters on the Xbox. Now Freedom Fighters is basically a, a squad based shooter by EA and it's released on Xbox and PS2. And the story is that the Russians have taken over America and a small growing band of resistance fighters are forming. Uh, I've done two missions so far and my main character here, put me in the light, is a guy called Chris and as Chris, you are a plumber who is, uh, found himself in extraordinary circumstances, the usual kind of thing, and you're basically bu building your way up the ranks to become the leader of the Freedom Fighter movement, to become the resistance leader. Um, at the moment I've only, I can only command two people at a time because I've only done two missions, and this is where you get your missions from on the map here. Now I'll go to the harbour, the fire station and the hotel. I'm going to try and capture the hotel tonight, see if I can do that. The Soviets have established a base of operations inside. We have seen Soviet soldiers storing ammunition in an abandoned diner. You can stock up on explosives here. There's a POW camp in the area. Release the prisoners and lead them to the sewers. There you go. So I'll get some explosives from the hotel. Take control of the hotel by putting my flag up. And I've also got a release of prisoners. So let's see if we can do it. Uh, it's a very basic squad based shooter. So I'm not a squad based shooter fan. But this one's brilliant because the controls are simple. You can basically turn to attack, defend the area, or retreat. Uh, it's really simple. Three buttons, and you just cut to the guy. Press A. Yeah, recruit a fighter. Recruit him. All right, come on, guys. Shit, long weapon. Bloody rush to stand right next to me, they didn't even bother to take me out. Shit, my boy's just got grenaded. Support. This heavy attack here, this is a bit over the top. I'm pissed at him. There you go, well, that's the last one. Right now this, I used to mess this up, you used to go straight into the street, but as soon as you go into the street you just get slaughtered by the rushkies. So the best option is to go down the side on it, and then you can get the sneak attack on them, you can flank them, which is always handy. Which took me ages to work this out and first played this game. And so this game is absolutely awesome, it took me two, two weeks to complete this when it first came out, and it was absolutely fantastic. I think it's such an underrated title from last generation, uh, it seems like a lot of people don't really know about this game. And it never really got the press that it deserved at the time, I don't think. And it's a proof that EA can make good games when they put their effort in. Uh, this and Black are two, two fantastic examples of what they can do. Right, here we go. So, just take my time there. So, if I get across the street, for can't getting killed. Fall back. So you can get an advantage by doing this if you're lucky. Okay? Because there's a minigun if I remember correctly around the corner. It's, it's, so it's been a long time since I played this game, so let's just remember now it all go. Oh, it all goes down, that's it, he's out of it. Make it see oh, shit. Right now, I've got the window and take these cards out. Bloody bullets again. So had I gone out on the street and not done the flank manoeuvre, I'd have been slaughtered because those guys would have just kicked my ass. There's one sneaking up there. Try and take out as many as I can because oh shit, they're throwing grenades at us. Oh crap. Yeah, just fighting in my thank you man. I'll take him out if he looks like he's the commander. He's wearing the red beret, so I'm assuming he's the man in charge. He's also got a bloody shotgun, which is now. There you go, I'll tell him to attack him. As soon as he pops his head up, he should be taken out. 
I've been going so much for attack him out, but there we go, I always try. As if I can take him out, because he does this. Come on, mate, here we go. Oh, Christ, the amount of ammunition here. Right, I'm going to grenade him, screw it. Right, that's the better. There we go. Right. My two blokes have buggered off. I must have been killed normal the look of it because they've got a red mark, which is never good. Right, I'll go to the diner and get some C4 because it's one of the other missions. You need C4 to blow some helicopters up. Come on, guys. I'm in deep shit here, by the way, like, guys, because I've got no. There's one of my dead soldiers. Crap, I've got no bloody weapons, so... I'm going to have to let these two do the work for me so I can get a machine gun. Hopefully. See if I can do some damage. Right, I'm going to make a run for it. Oh shite, he's got a minigun. Ah oh, crap, that went completely wrong. I just got some ammunition as well. Oh, I'll try again. This particular mission is really difficult. Uh, it does take a few goes to get it right. It took me ages to get it right the first time around. But yeah, I really highly recommend this. If you've never played it, definitely pick it up. Uh, yeah, don't be put off that it's a squad based shooter because the side don't play squad based shooters generally. This is just a really basic squad based shooter and it's just really well done, it's just you know, the simplicity is what makes it fun. This is roughly only get six rounds of bloody ammunition on your assault rifle then. Bloody hell, it's kicking off. Bloody hell. Come on, load your weapon. Oh you shit. I hope I could attempt it for an infection, but I'm completely wrong. There we go, that's better. Pull my men back. Right, okay, I'll go down the alleyway again. To try and do it properly this time. Just get that assault rifle quick. Come here. Don't run off over there, you crap. There he comes. Come on, you get yourself shot, you twat. Alright, oh, come on. So generally the AI is really good, but sometimes they do just tend to wander off and uh, do whatever they bloody want to do, which is quite annoying. Right, I've completely cut that up then. Shit. Okay, let's try and get across that cafe and get the CR, this, the, yeah, C4. Okay. 